welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make mango curry. Now this has been a requested recipe on my channel for a while now and I'm finally going to get to show it to you guys. So if you'd like to see how I make my mango curry, please continue watching. What I need to make my mango curry are some green mangoes. Now I'm going to use these mangoes, they're not very ripe, but if you wanted you could use half ripe mangoes. You do not want them to be ripe at all because if they were they would be way too mushy and they would fall apart in your curry. I also have some oil to go ahead and fry my curry in. I have some curry powder, some regular garam masala, and some amchar masala. And that can be found at any West Indian stores or Indian stores around you. I also have some scotch bonnet pepper, or you can use any type of spicy pepper that you like. I have some culantro here that I've chopped up very finely. I also have some garlic here that I've chopped up very finely. And I have a very small amount of onion. Now. In this curry, you do not want a lot of onion, so I've cut them really, really thin, so this way they're going to melt away when the curry is done, and I've used only a little bit. I also have some brown sugar. Now, the amount of sugar that you add depends on how sweet your mangoes were or how sour your mangoes were. If your mangoes were pretty sour, you'd want to use more sugar than if your mangoes were sweet. I also have some salt to taste, and I have some water to cook my curry. The first step in making your mango curry is to go ahead and chop your mangoes. Now, when you're making mango curry, you want to leave the skin on because if you were to peel the skin, then the meat from the mango would just melt away. So that skin is going to hold it intact. So what you're going to need to do is go ahead and take your cleaver and you just want to want to start going into the mango. And when you hit the seed, you're going to go ahead and chop it in half. And you're going to see that the seed is inside there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half this way. And the seed is not that hard actually and I'm going to cut it in four pieces. And you want to be very careful while you're doing this because sometimes the seed in the mango is very hard and your knife may slip from under you. So you want to continue doing this for all of the mangoes and then I'm going to show you guys what to do once that stuff is So once I finished cutting all of the mangoes in quarters, what I went ahead and did was I chopped them down again because they were still a little bit too big. So you're going to end up with these nice regular sized pieces of mango. So the next step is to go ahead and clean the seeds on the inside. So you're going to see that these, the actual seed of the mango will pop out very easily. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take a paring knife and you're going to want to go in and start scraping down the seed just a little. And you're going to see this little waxy coating come out. I don't know if you guys could see this little membrane that comes off of the seed. You want to get this little film off. Sometimes this film, it'll just peel off from the inside of the mango seed or you'll just have to scrape it off like I'm doing. You're going to see it's just a little thin membrane. You want to make sure and you want to get that out because it's not very pleasant while you're eating it. Once you finish scraping the waxy coating on each of the seeds, you're going to see that the seeds look a little rough and that was because you were scraping at them and they're going to look a little fibrous. And that's exactly how you want them to look. So I have them in nice chunks. This is the way that I cut them. And I'm going to go ahead and wash them now because as you guys can see, they're covered in this waxy coating and my board is all covered in it. So you just want to clean up a little, wash these out, and then we're going to go ahead and start cooking the curry. Once you finish cleaning all of your mangoes and you wash them, it's time to go ahead and blanch them. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is add in some salt to my water. This is just to start the flavor process a little. And I have all of my clean mango here that I'm going to go ahead and pour in now. I went ahead and I drained my mango after exactly 10 minutes and now it's time to start making the curry part of it. So what I want to go ahead and do is in my pot here, which I've started to heat up already, I want to pour in my oil and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add in my onions just so they can start frying up. And what I want to do on the side here is I want to go ahead and add in my amchar masala, my regular garam masala, and my curry powder. I'm also going to add in all of my garlic. And I'm going to add in all of my pepper. And I'm using scotch bonnet pepper just in case you wanted to know. I'm also going to pour in just a little bit of water so I can make my curry paste. Now, some people like their curry or their mango curry with a lot of masala, some like it with more curry powder. It really depends on your taste. I put a little bit more masala than I do curry powder. 
but this is something that you have to gauge based on your taste. Once you see that your onions start to get nice and golden brown, after I've been frying them for about a minute, I'm going to go ahead and add my curry mixture. I'm going to add that right in. And if you're making more mangoes than I am and you feel that it needs a little more curry powder, it needs a little more masala, you could go ahead and add it in. Just want to put it in there and you want to let it fry for a little bit. The rule of thumb for me whenever I'm cooking any type of curry is I like to let the spices fry for at least five minutes so this way all of those flavors and all of the spices can start to bloom and release into the oil. So I'm going to let this fry for about five minutes here and then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like once that's so My curry has been frying here for exactly five minutes and I also wanted to mention that after I added it in the pot, before I let it start to fry, I went ahead and I lowered my heat to a medium low heat so this way it wouldn't catch or burn at the bottom. And you can see that the onions are not in very big chunks, they're starting to cook down very nicely in that mix. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to add in all of my mango. And we're not going to have to let this cook for very long because you let it cook in the water. And you want to be very careful at this point because you don't want to trouble them too much and make them fall apart. So I'm going to let them fry here for about another five minutes in my oil and all of my spices. And I want to add in all of my culantro right now. This way you could cook up with it. I'm going to add in my salt. And this is just a taste. Remember I added some in the water so I'm not going to add too much at this point. And what I'm going to do is add half of my sugar right now. The reason why I'm not adding all is because I did not taste how sweet the mangoes were yet. So I don't want to add all and make it too sweet. So I'm just going to add that for now and then I'll add the rest at the end when I go ahead and I taste it. Now with mango curry you do not want a lot of gravy inside. You want it to be pretty dry. But if you like gravy in your mango curry and you want that gravy, you could go ahead and add more water than I'm adding. But I'm going to let it fry first and then I'll show you guys how much water to add. My mangoes have been frying up here for about 5 minutes now and what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to add in some water. Now my mangoes have been mostly cooked since I had blanched them beforehand and I want them to be pretty dry. I don't want a lot of gravy. So I went ahead and I added about half a cup there and this is just to let it simmer for a little while and then I'm going to go ahead and pull it right off the heat. As you can see, the mangoes are going to start to fall apart a little at the edges, but it's still going to hold its structure with that seed in the middle. So I'm going to give that a stir. And I'm going to go ahead and lower my heat all the way to low. And I'm going to let this simmer for about five minutes. The reason I'm only letting it simmer for five minutes is because my mangoes are almost done. So you have to gauge this time yourself. If your mangoes need longer to boil, then of course you'd add more water and then you cover it and let them cook until they're very tender on the end. After I had my mango curry simmering for exactly five minutes, I went ahead and I looked at the consistency of the mangoes and they were perfectly tender inside and they had just started to fall apart. Now, as you guys can see, I kept the curry pretty dry because as I said before, we like our mango curry not with a lot of gravy, but if you wanted the gravy inside, you could go ahead and add more water. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so this way you can be notified on when I do post new videos. Also, feel free to leave a comment down below on what you guys would like me to make next. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you guys for watching.